So this is where we're starting with the Honda pump. I wrote it on my whiteboard. So we know the pump needs a mechanical seal. Got one ordered. Only runs while choked. We gotta figure out what the issue is with that. We know it has bad gas. We don't know the compression. And we also don't know if the valves are timed. And it needs a recoil, but the new recoil hub doesn't have the timing mark, which means if we're gonna swap it over, we gotta do the valve timing now to check it before we do that. And then after we get that set up, then we can do the compression. And then after the compression, I can go about draining the gas, placing the fuel filter, putting the new carburetor on, and doing everything else that we need to hopefully get this thing going. But if it's got bad compression, then there's no need to go further. We're going to have to get a new piston and rings. Our new rings, we're going to have to figure the extent of that out afterwards. Okay, so now the first thing we get to do is remove the bolts, expose the valves, and then we're going to set it to TDC and the compression stroke and check the valves. Now, this has already been done on a previous video. The GX120 and the GX160 have the same valve clearances according to my Honda repair manual. So you can just refer to that video. I'll put a link in the description for that. Well, I won't know until I get the feeler gauges in there, but... I think the valve timing is a little bit off. It's pretty loose. Well, maybe not. The intake's supposed to be 0 .006, and we fit in there. It might be a little bit on the snug side, but the exhaust is 08. Same thing, it fits in there. Just felt loose, so okay, that part's done. Now we could swap that hub over and do a compression test. So our new recoil has a new hub that will work with it. And like I said before, that's our timing mark. But what I also did, where is it now, is that I lined up the holes. And then I just kind of marked my own timing marks. Because it's got to line up with that hole right there. So now we're going to spin that hub off. Put this new one on. Put that recoil on. Probably going to have to have it pointing up or so because it's going to be too awkward to pull it to the frame there. Just to clear up any confusion, these hubs have a little small notch in them that fit inside the hole right there so there's no possible way that you can mix them up. We got the recoil mounted on it now. We need to do a compression test and our minimum compression is 85. That's Honda's recommended values. The minimum is 85. Yeah, compression's low at 60. Okay, well, I think we have an answer, but I want to hear what you guys have an opinion. So, so far on the Honda pump, we know we need a mechanical seal. I have that ordered. Now, bad gas is out of the equation here. The recoil new timing mark has been put on. The valve timing looked good. Now, only runs when choked, unknown compression. So, did a compression test, came back 60 PSI. The minimum requirements that Honda has for this engine is 85 PSI. We are well under the minimum. Now, only runs when choked is a very good possibility because the compression is low at 60 PSI. Now, this is what we have to do. We either have to replace the piston and our rings, or just replace the rings depending on the cylinder wall and possibly maybe the valves. We're going to have to do an inspection on the valves. So we're going to have to tear apart the engine to have a look. Now, if the cylinder wall is scored up, we may have to scrap this project because it's not really worth it to me to replace the cylinder wall unless I can get one cheap. But even then, we're just dumping money into it. So they're going to have to draw a line and we're going to scrap this project. But first off, Let's start having a look. Maybe I will stick the inspection camera down in the cylinder and we'll have a look. Well, I got the boroscope out and I shone it inside. And there doesn't seem to be any uh, cylinder wall scoring that I can see. I mean, the cylinder walls look pretty good. 
Now I know some of you guys are probably thinking this and wondering why I didn't mention it earlier. Now that we got low compression and the cylinder walls are fine, is it really the pistons or is it the valves? We need to put some oil in the cylinder and if the compression goes up, it's a good sign the rings are worn. So let's find some oil in my shop. I'll dump it in the cylinder head and see what happens. Let's not get too crazy here, but Get my little nozzle set up in the cylinder there. Gonna use some European oil. That might be a little too much. Oh shit, now you stuck in there. Not what I wanted. There we go. Well, I got the compression tester on there. Let's give her some cranks. You see that? Put some oil in there. Compression goes up to like 150. Definite ring problem. Well, this is what I'm looking at right here. I want to know if you guys agree with what I'm thinking or if you guys have your own opinions. Let's all post them down below. So, I put the boroscope down in the cylinder head. And the cylinder wall looks pretty good from what I can see. Don't seem to notice any scoring. The piston's a little bit dirty, but, you know, don't see any kind of like... Um, dents or cracks or anything like that in it from something loose flying around. Now we put oil in the cylinder and it went from 60 psi to 150 psi so I'm gonna say that's a pretty good chance that it needs rings. Now if I put oil in there and it only went up like 5 psi then I'd say definitely a valve issue but I think we got piston ring issues. I want to know your comments below. Anyways I'm gonna end the video and I'll talk to you guys later.